What's up guys, Jordan Patton here with a brand new diecast review and today we're going to be looking at Cole Custer's 2020 Haas Tooling.com Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing which he won in the 2020 Kentucky race. They only went there once, I almost said fall race, but they only went there once. So that would have been irrelevant information. So let's go ahead and get into this review with our classic 360. I'm finally glad I got my hands on this one. I've been wanting it really bad. I usually I enjoy collecting the ra the first time race winners, and um, even though I'm not necessarily a Cole Custer fan, I think it's pretty cool that a actual full time rookie won a race and a regular season event, which hasn't happened in a good minute. Even though I really wish Tyler Reddick had won a race, and I think he deserved Rookie of the Year, but that's under discussion for another video. So let's go ahead and get into the damage and detail of this car. <clears throat> so on the front we have number 41, we have Mustang, we have the Pony logo on the grill. We got some dirt around the uh, uh, actual grill duct there. We got tape, grill tape. Uh, Stuart Haas, whoa, Stuart Haas Racing right there. On the hood, we have Haas, and um, I believe those are Dremel tools. Somebody will watch this and be like, no, that's not what that is, you idiot, but sorry. Anyways, I do believe that's what they are, though. So let's open the hood, and there is our engine detail, if you care to see it. And underneath the hood, we actually have Powered by Ford, Mobile One, Haas, and Wix. We just have Cup Series banner and the two Ford logos. We have our uh, tear-off tabs right there on the edge of the window. We've got the number 41, HaasTooling.com. The flaps do, in fact, open. We have Custer on the back window. This is number 176. And we got HaasTooling.com on the deck lid. The deck lid, of course, is not open. HaasTooling on the back, Mobile One. And we have the Detroit Ford license plate, number 41. We got a rookie stripes there. A lot of damage and uh, a lot of damage on there, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Now let's take a look at the right side of the car. We have one cure. We have Haas. We have a, again, what I believe is a Dremel tool cutting into the um, design of the car. We got HaasTooling.com on the quarter panel. We have Mobile One on the C post. On the B post, we have Ford, Mobile One, Rush, Truck Centers, and Auto Desk. Hunts Brothers Pizza, and I believe, is that a, yeah, looks like it's got a fuel of chips on there. I thought it was confetti at first, but looks like the, um, looks like I got a few chips. Oh, well. We got Jacob Construction in front of the rear wheel well, rear, rear wheel well. Exalta, SAM, Rush Truck Centers. We got the number 41. We got NASCAR Salutes, A Post logo, NASCAR Cup Series. Let's take a look at the right side of the car, which is pretty much the same as the left. Not a whole lot of damage over here. You can see there's a little bit of an engine exhaust, blackout, and just your typical rubber buildup and whatnot around the wheel well. Take a look underneath the car. There's no chewed up tires or anything really. Well, actually, there is. Is that on purpose? Huh. There's like a few strands of rubber coming out from the back of the tire. I don't know if that's there on purpose or what. Probably not. Anyways. But there is underneath the car if you're here to see it. That's pretty much the car itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. We've got NASCAR Cup Series. We have the winter sticker race version. We got 2020 action racing collectibles, the not 2020 schedule. We have Cole Custer, number 41, hostelling.com. Kentucky win, one of 828. Standard finish, the winter sticker again. Render of the car, 2020 Kentucky winner, standard finish, 2020 race winner. And of course, our legal stuff on the bottom as usual. I think in the Chase Elliott videos, I forgot to um, actually uh, go over the box, but yeah, I don't think it's a big deal. The box doesn't really change other than the rendering. And of course, this does come with a few things. You have your trinket, you, trinkets, you do have your race winner sticker, as usual. And then we have our stat card, Cole Custer Quaker State 400 winner, with oddly no pictures or anything, which is 
really weird. You can read that if you'd like. Custer thrills for first win. And it really was a thrilling finish. That was probably the fifth or sixth best race of the season. Or best finish of the season, but... Anyways. There's that. And we'll take one last look at the car itself. Which I honestly think is a really pretty scheme. Um, but I still like the red one better, personally. But, I don't know. Looking at this in person, it's more... I don't know. There's something about it that I like a little bit better. Now, the one he's running this year, they just changed it so many times already. It looks... Quite frankly, it looks like ass. They're trying to put too much going on, and I just don't like it. But, um, that's a wrap for another day. That's pretty much it for this video. Uh, besides that this car is a brand new release. Well, actually, it's not brand new. It's been out for a few months. It's not getting as rare as I thought it would be. Um, you can still get it for pretty much retail value. I'm not really sure if it's because Cole Custer's not as popular a driver or what. But I would still try to get it as soon as possible because it's a first win and it was a pretty memorable finish so i would get it as soon as possible it may not go up in value anytime soon but one day it will if you are collecting for just pure um you know the value but if you're just collecting because you enjoy collecting i, I recommend it it's a first win not a bad looking paint scheme it's the only way you can get this particular paint scheme so, so I'm surprised it hasn't gone off the shell, flown off the shelves. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow my social media pages, which is jpat underscore diecast2, and Twitter, which is jpat underscore diecast. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day or night, wherever you may be. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.